So now we'll move on to what is greatest common divisor, that is GCD. Let F be a field and F of X and G of X belongs to capital F of X. A greatest common divisor GCD, if F of X and G of X is a non-zero polynomial, D of X such that two conditions should satisfy. D of X divides F of X and G of X and if C of X is a divisor of F of X and G of X, then C of X divides D of X. I hope it's confusing. Okay. Right. Now, I just very plain and simply, I'm going to illustrate this common uh, GCD in your problem. Okay. So, you consider two polynomials. No need to worry about all this. You're going to consider two polynomials. You're going, to, you're going to divide one polynomial by the other polynomial. Okay. So, after dividing one polynomial by the other polynomial, you will get a reminder. Is that so? Right. After getting the reminder, just check whether the reminder is a power which is greater than the uh, divisor or less than the divisor. So, if it is uh, less than, automatically go and divide the divisor and you can get your answer. It's very simple uh, technique. So, problem number 4. Find the GCD. There are, they are giving you a polynomial of 4th degree and they are asking you to divide by a 3rd degree polynomial over Q they are saying. Okay, they haven't mentioned any modulo here. So, we can... Uh, uh, so, read the problem, understand the problem first and then you can proceed. So, over just few rational numbers. So, so first I will state what is the polynomial given to be. Right. They have given f of x and g of x. And I could see that g, degree of g of x is less than degree of f of x. So, I am going to buy using the division algorithm. So, I am going to use repeated uh, successive division algorithm. Then only I can land up with gc. So, what do I did? I have taken the 4th degree polynomial divided by the 3rd degree polynomial. Okay. And I have seen. See, just observe. x power 4 dividing by x cube. I will be getting x. Take this x and multiplying. You will be getting x power 4 minus x. Bringing down this x cube. And uh, my plus x is here. Right. So, now what do I do? Again, divide this x power 3 by x power 3. I get 1. So, put up 1 there. Take this one and multiply, I will be getting x cubed minus 1. Change the sign, cancelling it out. x is already available, right? So, minus 1 is there. So, what do I do? Bring down these two terms again. So, it's going to be 2x square plus 2x plus 2. So, already an x is there. x and x will get added up and this minus 2. Minus two. So, now what do I do? Now, there is a divisor which is having a third degree power. And the reminder is a second degree power. So, automatically which is less than that. The power has been reduced less than that. So, now furthermore I cannot divide it. Unless and until it is equal to or greater than only I can proceed with the further division. So, now what will I do? Since I see, observe that the divisor is having a greater power than the reminder. I will put the divisor here. See, parallelly I will be doing x cube minus 1 put it up inside. And take the reminder and divide the reminder using the using the reminder so if i'm going to divide using the reminder i will be getting some numbers again i get it as zero so now what do i do f of x okay now write f of x f of x is the fourth degree polynomial which is started with so f of x is equal to the product of the quotient plus the divisor x plus one and x cubed minus one plus the reminder right now how will I write this uh, x cube minus 1? x cube minus 1 can be written as the product of these two. Product of these two x by 2 minus 1 by 2 into 2x square plus 2x plus 2 plus the reminder. So, degree of this is less than the degree of this. So, you can proceed with this particular definition. So, therefore, that is how I am going to find the GCD. GCD is nothing but you divide it. Use your division algorithm and write down the particular uh, step. Furthermore, I am reducing this and getting a reminder as 0. So, I have stopped it. Otherwise, again, I will repeat. So, try to understand. Suppose if I have a power less than this power. Suppose if I land up with x. Suppose if I get x here, what will I do? I will successively go and divide this by the reminder again. So, till I get 0, I will just keep repeating. Unless the power is less than that. And finally, I conclude 
the problem by saying f of x start with the original equation given and from the product of that and that further product is product of the other two and further how, how many other times you have repeated are able to understand therefore the gcd is x square plus x plus 1 okay how did i get this this is the common term after substituting in 2x this value right substituting here the common term is x square plus x plus 1 therefore the gcd is x square plus x plus 1 gcd is greatest common divisor so we could see that which term is divisible by that thank you so much for watching the video i hope everyone understood so we'll just have a recap of all the eight topics what we have studied so far okay so first thing first lecture we had discussed what is a polynomial a polynomial is an algebraic equation where you have a single variable raised to any power necessarily it should not carry negative pass and it should not carry square root terms how to find the degree of a polynomial the degree of a polynomial can be found by the highest degree that is highest term that is highest power term whichever term is having the highest power that will be called as the degree of that particular polynomial right if the particular highest degree term the coefficient of the highest degree term will be called as your leading coefficient then suppose if the leading coefficient term is 1 then i can call it as a monic polynomial and then again we have a constant polynomial we have a zero polynomial etc okay so likewise we had seen this in the lecture 1 video lecture 2 video lecture 2 video was discussing how to find the roots of the polynomial so roots of the polynomial without mentioning the modulo means it's very easy for us to just equate it to zero and get the roots suppose if the modulus is given so you have to mention the modulo elements and one by one you got to substitute inside the polynomial and if the remainder is zero then i can call that particular element is a root or else it is not a root and if it is a root i can say x minus 1 is a factor of that this was the two lectures under polynomials degree of polynomials and roots of polynomials third and fourth lecture was discussing about division algorithm so division algorithm was framed by the famous mathematician mathematician euclid where the dividend is equal to the product of your divisor and the quotient plus the remainder so necessarily a very important thing which have to be mentioned is the divisor should not be equal to 0 right then after this you got to go and uh, find out how you use division algorithm under modulo so divide one after the other and you just find out the remainder the remainder is equal to 0 that particular term will get vanished or else we got to continue further and further on okay and unit uh, sorry the lecture number 5 lecture video 5 and 6 was discussing about irreducible and reducible polynomials so what are reducible and irreducible polynomials if a polynomial f of x can be written as a product of two other polynomials with the lower degree then we can call it as a irreducible then if we can call it as a reducible polynomial if not we conclude it as a irreducible polynomial clear so now after finding irreducible and reducible polynomial and the next section was talking the next the video was talking about uh, we had a discussion how to find these product polynomials equal to 0 and not equal to 0 and how to find reducible polynomials how, can, how to construct reducible and irreducible polynomials on our own so these things we have learned and next next comes few theorems division algorithm theorems euclidean domain finite field etc please go through the theorems also and now in this last lecture that is the eighth video we had seen what is uh, what are factor theorem and remainder theorem and how to find gcd so it's just by mere argument saying that if x a is a root then i can say x minus a is a factor if x minus a is a factor then i can say f of a is a root of that so likewise you please revise topic by topic and if there is any doubt we can clarify it in the google meet okay thank you so much for watching i hope you understood the second unit finite fields and polynomials thank you signing off henrietta